Hello, Graham here. It is uh, August uh, 10th, 2012, and we're up here in the cabin in Hood Canal, and uh, just kind of wanted to go over some of the solar upgrades we've been doing here. Okay, as you can see, I've added a new solar panel. That's the one on the bottom. That is uh, about 130 watt, 12 volt. It actually puts out about 17 volts or so. And then the two top sets, I've talked before in previous videos about the Harbor Freight sets, uh, each one of those sets is about 45 watts. Each individual panel is 15. So all together there, we've got, I don't know, 170 watts total, something like that. Okay, from there, we come into a combiner box that I've created. Um, you can see it right there. Uh, I did get the idea for that from somebody on YouTube somewhere. Thanks, whoever that was. So I've got all the the three sets of solar panels going into this junction box and then the two big lines go to the charge controller. Okay, these are a, a pair of 6 volt Trojan, I believe, T105s. Um, and you can see the heavy duty wire, though, that's about an 8 gauge. That comes from the uh, charge controller. And I've got a, a little Harbor Freight on off switch that you can turn to shut off power when I need to work on the batteries. And here we have a uh, ground running from the batteries that's attached to about a three foot copper uh, rod going into the ground. Uh, my charge controller recommends that the system be grounded, so that's what I did here. Okay, and we're inside the cabin now. This is my little electrical room, um, little closet. Uh, you can see the charge controller right there. That's a ProStar PS30M. Um, great little unit. Cycles through, lets you know the output of the solar panels and how much current you're using in the cabin. Um, to the right here, we've got this is actually a marine junction box, a bunch of 10 amp fuses in there, so I'm able to run all the lights to this and the water pump. And here I just upgraded to this nice Xantrex uh, ProWatt converter. It's an actual uh, uh, real sine wave converter, not a modified. I was having problems with uh, charging the laptop and charging different things with a modified sine wave, so I spent the extra money and got a true sine wave power converter. So it's daytime now, so but I turned on the light over the over the kitchen table. This is like a I don't know three five watt uh, LED light. Um, I've been adding LED lights to the house. It seems to work pretty good. Right here we have another one. Go up and turn that on. These put out a lot, quite a bit of light and a very low current output. All right, in the kitchen I've got a fluorescent light above the stove. And I have one over by the kitchen area. These draw about an amp each. Um, it's kind of older technology trying to go with um, all the new LED technology here in the bathroom. I've got the shower and the um, camping shower. And then right up here I've got um, another about 3 watt uh, um, LED light that I found on eBay. And uh, those are great. Low, low power consumption. Alright, and around the back side of the house, uh, this is my 1000 gallon water tank. I collect rain water for showers and uh, doing dishes and uh, I have a little more detail of, of this setup in another video so you can see the water goes to there anyway this is still part of the solar electric uh, video um, I've got a flow jet on demand pump that uh, primes itself and uh, pretty much supplies water to the rest of the house. All right, we're on the southern side of the, the cabin um, there we go, a little panning on the cabin. There's another uh, set of Harbor Freight uh, solar panels I have on the back, so this kind of catches the afternoon sun, so this kind of helps when there's no sun around the side of the house for the other panels. 